Shaw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm busy. <laughs> My show now. Hi, I'm busy. I kicked Mom off. Um, let's see here. There's absolutely nothing going on, guys. It's been a boring week. Um, yeah, pretty much nothing. Um, we did put a halter on the Zebu Kiff and uh, mess with her a little bit. Um, Mom's got a clip about that. She'll stick it in there. Dogs are barking and it's kind of, yeah. Um, let's see what else is there. Nothing. That's it. So, bye-bye. I gotta go to work. Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy, and as you saw earlier, RJ's busy, so not really his podcast, but hey, it is, it is, it's ours. Anyway, it's Straw Family Farm. All right, in the chapel, it comes from John 14, 18. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Um, just the holidays coming up, a lot of depression will start coming on. Just remember you're not alone. Reach out to a friend, reach out to family. Um, I've been dealing with my own kind of demon, and that is RJ is now 21. He's off doing. His dad is on a different schedule than me. So a lot of times, I'm home alone. Um, there's a couple times that it really hit me, and I didn't want to come home. <laughs> but I have my job, and I have my stuff. So, um, But it became a harsh reality that, you know, there's quiet time, and then there's super quiet time <laughs> but that's okay so I'm just dealing with it and it was something that I kind of encountered this weekend I thought <sighs> but I went to a girlfriend's house so I was good <laughs> just saying I have good friends um uh all right in the barn stalls as you saw there's really not a whole lot going on um I've got that clip of mass chaos um I think the pups are a little too young. You can see in the video that they actually stop and they listen to commands, but they get super excited and they get, ah, and it kind of just is mind blowing chaos. So here's that clip and we'll go from there. Uh, All right, uh, RJ, what's going on? Uh, 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 Carl? Uh, Dog training uh, and calf training. Uh, <laughs> Wilbur, uh, no. Sit. Ah, ah. Sit. <laughs> Wilbur's just everywhere. Sit. All right. RJ, what are you doing that's causing such a ruckus? Halter breaking. Halter breaking. Ah, 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 ah. Wilbur. Normally it's not this loud, is it? Wilbur, no. This one's kind of mouthy. Yes. Okay. She got her tongue sticking out too, huh? Is it hurting her? No. Okay. So this is the zebu, right? Or just trying. <laughs> ah, ah. Sit. Ah, ah. Sit. Wilbur, sit. You can definitely tell at this point they're pups. Sit. Good boy, Carl. <laughs> Come here. Oh, yes. Wilbur's definitely. She's all broke. <laughs> she kind of. <laughs> she's taking you for a ride, huh? This is a. Ah, ah, Wilbur! This is the first time she. I don't even know how good this video is going to be. There's dogs everywhere. Wilbur! Quit. Now, this is a spring baby. She's only a few months old, correct? Okay. And this is Mrs. Zebu's baby, correct? <laughs> Wilbur, he stays. Sit. Carl, quit chasing your tail. Sit. Ah, ah. Here's your hat. Thump Wilbur if he gets close enough. Ah. Sit. 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 Okay. Good boys. Ah, ah. Sit, Carl. Sit. 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 Ah, ah. Wilbur. You can tell I'm not staying, but they're young. How are we doing over here? Ah. 
just a few minutes until she quits fussing okay you promise you promise sure okay i, I want her halter but wilbur and the dogs won't be out here well it'll be easier when i take the dogs away won't it i'll take them let me go get my ear things and i'm going give her a few minutes and then you can rope her wilbur no i'm off of here to take these dogs out of here okay like i said mass chaos you know i guess it's controlled chaos <laughs> it was interesting the little cat i want her um halter broke she gets a little unruly and if we're gonna keep her around i don't want any more to see food that can't be handled um we had one little issue yesterday we had our family um halloween dinner and we draw for names for christmas at that because this year we always do a different kind of thing and and this year we're doing uh gift of the magi so if you've ever read that short story by o henry um it was written in 1905 pretty much you have to know what your uh, your person treasures and give them something in accordance with their prized possession so um yeah it is what it is so and in case you're wondering i like i i dyed my hair again just saying uh so we're doing that so we did names and rj had to go out and ride that outside horse and i said hey let bear out bear got to where he could just jump over the fences um i found out yesterday the top wire was busted and that's why he could jump over so he did um but i told him i said if he gets out will you I talked to RJ. I said, you're going to be on this outside horse. If you're, if he gets out, will you just go put him up? I can voice control him, get him back in the thing, just yell at him, and he goes back in. Then I didn't want to have crawl through. We've got two good strands of wire up there, and they kind of get pointy and sharp, and I didn't want to have to walk all the way around because he'd be back out before I got back in. Anyway, it was just easier if RJ, if I hollered at RJ, if he'd come over and, and walk him over to the arena. So um, he got out. It, it was inevitable. I knew he would. And I hollered at RJ to come do it. Well, Lee is off his medication again. And Lee jumps in there and he's trying to, and he gets him running. Well, the bull is on pasture, okay? And he's out with his ladies. And the bull sees the steer as a threat. The steer doesn't give a crap. But Lee ended up running him, running him down with the bull, and I'm hollering at RJ to call his dad off. Lee's not listening. And finally, I just, I get myself around and get over there. And RJ just hollers at Lee to get out of it. And he sees me coming. I holler for Bear. Bear comes running right to me. He's just like, Mom saved me. Um, I got him in the pen and I took, and Mr. Zebu will challenge Lee and RJ a whole lot more than they, than he challenges me. And I had a feed pan in my hand and I threw it on the ground in front of Mr. Zebu and I was like, knock it off. And he went the other way. And my son goes, I love the way you sort cattle, mom. <laughs> Cause here he is on a horse and the, they're going over. It was hilarious, but I don't, I do ride. I just don't work cattle that way. Um, I want to be on the ground flat footed and know that, you know, what I'm doing isn't going to go wrong. So it was just totally funny. Um, and of course, then Lee realized that he created that issue and he was like, well, I just thought, and so he grumbled at me. I don't care. Anyway, so that happened. Um, we're still having issues putting the chickens and the ducks up at night. <sighs> It hasn't frozen, so we really have got to get them up. And then the one day that we got all of them up, it was too hot to leave them in there. And I like to leave them for a couple days so they get the idea, hey, you're supposed to come back in here. And I put feed in there and stuff. Anyway, yeah, that did, didn't happen. So the lambs that we thought were fall bred are looking like they're not. Um, the goats that we thought might be fall bred looking like they're not. And Bidet hasn't even bagged up. So if nothing happens by the end of, I think, October, then I don't think anything's going to. So, and the end of October is like 
a few days away. So we've got maybe another week or so. And I just don't see anything happening. So our, maybe we're not supposed to have a fall breeding program. I don't know. Anyway, so let's see. What's next? <laughs> Mending fences. I actually fixed some fence. Um, went out and worked in the garden a little bit. Um, just little things getting ready for winter. Um, some hay feeders that Layton likes to jump on. She craters them. So we've been going out and fixing those one at a time. Um, the pig thing had to get uh, two screws on it to hold the tin. Um, just little bitty things, not anything major. So um, let's see what else. In the yarn farm, we're getting ready for Wamego. We're going to start tumbling fleeces here in the next day or so. And uh, that's in January. We've got two months to get ready. I've got some wool that I've got it cleaned. i got to pick it and prep it so that I can spin it for a giveaway on another channel. That's uh, Lisbeth's. And, uh, and then I'm going to dye it. I'll have some dyed and some not. And they're just going to be small little skeins. Um, let's see. Other than that, just really working. Um, yarn farm in the garden. Uh, in the fields, we it's really kind of too late to cut the last part of the pasture that we didn't get cut earlier. So I think we're going to leave it standing. Um, then I got two gourds out of the garden. The frost has started to kill the um, leaves on the, but the gourds haven't started to dry. I don't harvest any of the gourds until the stem itself turns brown. So once that turns brown then I will. I've got two here and I found more gourds in the uh, foliage down on the bottom. Um, the asparagus is popping through a lot which I should have asparagus. Thinking I'm going to put in some garlic too. Um, I want to get some annuals in that I, I mean some perennials in that I really use. I've got my herbs going good. The sage is back where the goats ate it off. The basil, oh my god, I grew so much basil this year. Um, it got out of hand. Um, cat fight. Um, but yeah, so I've got those going. I moved some lemon balm, um, just little things. Uh, not a whole lot a whole lot going on because it's been kind of cold. Um, I've been spinning. I'm trying to spin and get everything off of my wheels so that I can do. I did a video um, about spinning on Big Bertha. I'm going to do a single treadle and a double treadle and kind of discuss the differences there. And then I probably will go into just some simple spinning on drop spindle and stuff. I don't know. So um, just try to get people spinning for the winter. drinking coffee. Uh, but in the farmhouse, really, we had our our Halloween. I know it's not even Halloween yet, but RJ hates Halloween. My daughter loves Halloween. So we pick a day. Um, we had uh, those Oreo candy bars. RJ loves them. So we had some of those. The kids showed up, said trick or treat. When I say kids, my kids are 31 and 21. So yes, they knocked on the door, trick or treat. Um, it is what it is. She trick or treats, he gives it away. That's the way it's always been since he was probably six or seven years old. So he likes to give it away. She likes to trick or treat. So she showed up yesterday, trick or treat. And he went and let her in and, and uh, he gave her candy. So yeah. Hey. It's tradition. I don't care how old they get. <laughs> I don't care if they have kids of their own. <laughs> they will trick or treat my house. Um, anyway, so have that going on. I did get the fall decorations up. Uh, I'm going to start my ceramics and get my nativity set done and his western stuff done. And I want to get some things done before Christmas. So I've got to go and get some other paint because some of my paints are older and dried up. I haven't done ceramics since Grandma passed away. It's kind of what her and I did together, so it is what it is. Um, anyway, Sebastian's taking up residency here in the house. Sebastian! Hey! Oh, he's going to get him a drink. 
he disappeared for like three days and came back really, really skinny. So, um, yeah, Moose likes him. The big dogs have been staying out more um, just because they're so big and they're getting on my bar and eating things and yeah. So other than that, I really don't have a lot going on. Um, I'm starting Christmas presents. I got, okay, so let's see if I can do this. Lee got Zach, who is our son-in-law. We just call him our son. I got RJ. RJ got my daughter and my daughter got me and Zach got Lee. So we'll see how it goes. And it's just one meaningful gift. It doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be about money. It can be something you found, something you've repurposed. It just has to be meaningful. And you have to tell why you felt it was the same. It was the perfect gift. So, um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, it'll be fun. And I've already got my work stuff kind of sort of figured out. So, yep, I'm doing good with Christmas. And I will be done hopefully by Thanksgiving. I, last year I was done by Halloween. Yep, um, because we drew names before Halloween at our um, Halloween dinner. And then by Halloween I already had it done, figured out, done, was good. So, at Christmas time, I am not a procrastinator. Fiber Festival, maybe a procrastinator. Not at Christmas. All right, I'm going to get off of here. I know it's short and sweet. I hope you enjoyed RJ's little antics and his video and the dog training that didn't go so well. Just remember that, you know, they're young. And that was their first exposure to the cattle up close. And then the cow was, was carrying on. Um, so, yeah, that's Miss Cebu's baby. Oh, mouthy is she. Mm-hmm. All right. I will talk to y'all later. Have a great one. Bye.